Hello and welcome to God's View. So glad you joined us this week for the new ones. I'd like to introduce ourselves to you. I'm Reverend Charlene back to Marion. We have Reverend Lana Garner, uh, Reverend Jennifer Griffin, and Reverend Labretta Pope. And we're having the time of our life. I tell you that all the time, but I mean it with all my heart. We love doing these shows. Yeah. And we know and hear the feedback from the prayer lines, how much you love it. And uh, man, makes it all worth it. I have people mm -hmm. coming up to me in the stores all the time. It's so exciting. And say, I watch your show. Well, yes, keep the good work up and tell other people because you know what? We're here to encourage you, love you, bless mm -hmm. you, decree, declare, prophesy Praise to you, God. see things happen in your life, encourage you to go forth in your predestined, ordained mm -hmm. uh, plans and purposes that God has for your life. We're here right. to stir that as spoons each Amen. week as we come into your home. Remember to call the prayer lines, 307-637-PRAY, that's 7729. And I never tell you um, the, the website, but it's across the bottom of the screen mm -hmm. uh, periodically, www.gstn.us. At the end of every program, uh, we have our books and websites and stuff come on also uh, right before the credits. So to say all of that we just wanted to uh, introduce ourselves and and to you new to you new viewers and again we love your prayer calls please call keep calling we want to stand with you until you get your breakthrough Amen. we're we're here we don't pretend we're not just sitting up here on TV and and just wanting to be on TV we truly are here to help you so call the prayer lines all send right us an we're email. send an yeah, email we yes, I, pray for yes you. I do I get their emails and mm -hmm. that's wonderful because across the bottom of the screen it says fill out your prayer request form mm -hmm. at the website uh, I read some of those earlier and oh no oh. we didn't read them on air we just read them to each other mm -hmm. but anyways mm -hmm. We're getting them and we yes. just thank you for them mm -hmm. we count it a privilege and an honor to pray with you Amen. Amen. and to stand with your mm -hmm. uh, prayer uh, request it's it's just an honor well you know we're going to be talking about keeping away from worldly desires on this program mm -hmm. and you know one thing that has kept me out of hot water all my life is that I always pray and ask God and prophesy over my life not to let my desire override his will mm -hmm. so if we if we keep that in mind it will help you if you keep praying that prayer and prophesying that and decreeing it that the desire of your heart will not override the will of God for your life you'll stop buying cars when you ain't supposed to buy cars mm -hmm. you'll stop all that because you get on that lot we talked about that mm -hmm. in another one of your friends mm -hmm. had done that and had to you know woke up mm -hmm. at four o'clock in the morning because she got there and thought oh this you know I can mm -hmm. do this mm -hmm. uh, I just got a raise for whatever you know a lot mm -hmm. of you may do that and then you find yourself in a situation because you get out on that car mm -hmm. lot and say oh that Cadillac you know we got a $39 raise we can do that mm -hmm. but your desire overrides God's will right. get a decent car get something that you can um, operate with each day and be able to afford. Mm -hmm. Anyways, with all that, we're, we're, we're talking about keeping away from worldly desires. Mm -hmm. What do y'all have? That's good. Well, yeah. I, I have a scripture okay. I like to start Go. with. I was just thumbing through while you were introducing us, and it, the scripture I have is um, John, um, 1 John, and it has to do with the things of the world. Okay. It says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Ooh, I love Isn't that, that something, Charlene? Yeah. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. And it says, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eye and the pride of life mm -hmm. is not of the Father, but is of the world. Wow. Mm, yeah. That's Sometimes very good. Sometimes I like to eat two pounds of sea's candy, <laughs> but I won't do that because I know it's gluttony, number yeah. one. Would you lay I, hands on me then? Because I do it. <laughs> I eat all kinds of dove candy, and I know it. I got to get delivered. <laughs> <laughs> be healed in Jesus' Amen. name. We're Gosh, that's a miracle here. That's good. You start, <laughs> you're gonna you don't it. finish. But you're, you know one thing for sure is that, is that when you know, the Holy Spirit comes, it's when we accept Jesus Christ. Amen. And yes. the Holy Spirit comes in us and we 
less and less and less desire to sin in yeah, any way. Yeah, that's good. You yeah. know, sometimes, I mean, let's face it, we'll, we'll say, we, you know, oh boy, I'd like to go out and have an affair. But we won't do that because we don't want to grieve the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because mm -hmm. we love Him so much and He's so good to us. Mm -hmm. Plus the fact that we don't want to do it because it, it's, it causes. If the Lord says that we are supposed to be faithful in, inside of marriage. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so we want to obey God because we don't want illegitimate pregnancy. We don't want uh, the, all the diseases that run rampant. Mm -hmm. So when God tells us something, mm -hmm. it's worthwhile. Mm -hmm. It's worthwhile mm -hmm. listening. Sometimes we don't want to listen, but then we go, oh, okay, I'll do it just because I, I love him. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you do it and you go, whoa, am I glad. So even am though I you're glad. saying, even though God made the pleasure through sexual yeah. Uh, intimacy, there's still that worldly desire, if you're not married, that will get you in trouble. Mm -hmm. Right. So we yeah. cannot have right. that worldly desire. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, because mm -hmm. there's, you know, uh, and, and I, you know, God really helps people. And, and if you're a young person out there, don't let that worldly desire yes. or even a mm -hmm. boy talk you into mm -hmm. right. all of these things because mm. it just ends in destruction. You know, sin seems pleasurable mm -hmm. for a moment, but God said it's right. death in the end. That's right. Yeah. And you may have a child that, you know, uh, in the end, somebody's going to take care of that child, but unexpected mm -hmm. and a lot of issues that go along with that. And mm -hmm. so worldly right. desire, and one of the things is a sexual worldly desire yeah. that's oh, not yeah. of God in the your way. We're getting a lot of that flesh, now. We're hearing about it in the life. media. Yeah. 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 Yes. Well, it's everywhere. It's everywhere around us. It's become normal mm -hmm. to, yeah. you oh, know, the shows, the things that are oh, out there. Yes. It's a normality for yes. our children yeah. and our mm -hmm. grandchildren that they see these things as normal mm -hmm. rather yes. than, you know, back in the days where they didn't even show two people in bed together, you yeah. know, yeah. separate beds on Lucy show. Oh, yes. Yes. Think about yeah. that. Yeah. So it's, exactly. it's increasing, you know, the, the, the stuff has been increasing and, mm -hmm. and the shows and the, mm -hmm. the and fidelity and all that stuff has In increased. commercials, they'll be advertising yeah. soap and it's seductive. Oh, yes. Yeah. I mean, it's, everything is has this seductive everything thing wrapped does. around it. And I'm like, what is it? Mm -hmm. my, actually, my husband and I was talking about a commercial last night and he goes, so what did you think of that commercial? And I go, well, you know, and he goes, that's not at all what it was about. I go, it wasn't? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. they kept showing this other thing. They were mm -hmm. presenting like a cup of tea or the, the product. It was mm -hmm. all this mm -hmm. sexual. And I'm like, mm -hmm. what was that? Exactly. And, and then he tells me what it was about. I didn't, well, I wouldn't even have known they were advertising what they were advertising. Because they exactly. were getting it across in a mm -hmm. wrong way. Exactly. And this is becoming normal. This normal. Is, I mean, I'm just yes. saying it's normalcy yes. to see this. And so why would the younger generation stop from doing these things if they think it's normal to mm -hmm. do mm -hmm. these yes. things? I mean, yeah. that's yes. what I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. The yeah. more it's out there, the more normal it is. Well, people. you know, if you're not following the Spirit, then mm -hmm. you're, the Bible says you're carnally minded. Mm -hmm. yes. And carnally, carnal means meat. You know, mm -hmm. that we're following the flesh. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So a person that's carnally minded, and and carnal means meat, it's kind of like chili con carne, it's mm -hmm. chili with meat. Mm -hmm. Then then what you're saying is they're meatheads. <laughs> <laughs> and God said, desire the meat of the world. Get off the milk of the world. That's yeah. right. And get word yeah. and get to the meat. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have it's we an have angel. Feathers flying around. <laughs> <laughs> feathers off the ball. Oh, isn't that? Just, you just let it do its thing. And it's it's a dove. A little oh, dove. But I, as you were saying earlier, as you desire and, and you, and you, as you, it talks about um, killing those desires. How do you do that? Well, by rejecting, by, by saying no to the things that mm -hmm. you have desires for. And they become less and less as you yes. conform, you know, yes. ask God to conform your will into mm -hmm. his will mm -hmm. those things become less and less and it gets easier yeah. like so if you're yeah. dealing with something it gets easier like if Romans 12 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes Romans 12 exactly. says that and you know the more we surrender what you're saying right now Jennifer mm -hmm. the more we surrender yes. and say we submit ourselves therefore to God therefore the devil has to flee that's right mm -hmm. he has to mm -hmm. flee the more we surrender to God the mm -hmm. more he has to go mm -hmm. and That's and right. then we don't have those worldly yeah. desires but it's not easy i mean you may That's right. who knows what you're doing
<laughs> these days. But mm -hmm. you have to surrender to God, submit to Him once again, ask His forgiveness, and go on. Get out of those worldly desires because exactly. it's only death in the end. Yeah. The more you feed something, the more it's it there. Grows. It grows. Yeah. yeah. So, that, you know, the, when you cut off feeding I anything, you know, mm -hmm. if you cut mm -hmm. off feeding it, exactly. then it doesn't stick around or it goes away. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, the Bible says you have not because you ask because not. you ask not yeah. mm -hmm. and i i don't feel uh, i hope i'm not coming across as always hopping on the media but there again mm -hmm. okay is is a source oh, yes. where people are being inundated with all of these images yes. you know buy this buy that we talked about the cars we talked about the house. god says he wants us to live our life more abundantly do we not right. yeah. but we don't have to get it through the way of the world we right. could get it through the system of god okay yeah. god says yes. seek ye first the kingdom yeah. of god yes. and his righteousness yes. and all these things shall be added mm -hmm. unto you amen yes. and so we don't have to desire the things of the world and get it the way that the world gets it you know yeah. what i'm saying mm -hmm. and that's been bombarded again to us or our children and what goes in your eye gate your mm -hmm. ear gate yes it goes into your heart doesn't that's it right. yes, and it then does. kids we wonder why kids wake up and say mom i want to have this i want to have this uh technology i want to have this phone this playstation all these different things and yeah. yeah our kids have those things but you understand how those desires of the they world separate those yes, yes. have been yes. implanted and they're mm -hmm. there to lull kids and people adults mm -hmm. away from what really matters and pretty yeah. Soon their praise is coming from that because they, uh, if they don't have what everybody else has, exactly. then they're rejected. But if they do, then they're praised. Mm -hmm. And you know, I love that scripture, uh, Proverbs 31, where it says, A woman who fears the Lord mm -hmm. greatly will she, she be praised. Be praised. Right. You know, right. it's not about all of the other stuff. And mm -hmm. you know, if we're praising those things and we're uplifting in those things, we're actually taking the glory from God, we're actually taking the praise and giving it to an idol. Mm -hmm. and it idols. says in mm -hmm. the Bible, do not, I will not share my glory with another Amen. or give my praise to an idol. And he goes on, you know, praise when I got God. the scripture right here, he goes on to say, Behold, the former things have come to pass, mm -hmm. and new things I now declare before they spring forth, I tell you them. So God's always telling us things of the spirit and the ways and the things that we should go. Mm -hmm. And carnal, and carnal mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. always giving mm -hmm. glory and honor and praise and everything mm -hmm. to something that is not God. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That is so true. Yes, go ahead. I was just going to say there's a parable in Luke that Jesus talked about, and it was about a rich man that mm -hmm. um, he, he started, he got a whole lot of stuff, and he didn't have enough places to store, so he tore down his barns and built yeah. bigger storehouses and yes. and he you know just good he said example. he said to himself yeah, um, take your ease eat drink and enjoy yourself merrily mm -hmm. but then next verse in verse 20 it's 12 20 but God said to him you fool this very night the messengers of God will demand your soul of you and all that you have prepared whose will Does they be mm -hmm. so it was with the one who continues to lay up and hoard possessions for himself and not rich mm -hmm. in the relationship with god that's key. Yeah. in the relationship key. with god yeah. this is how he fares and so mm -hmm. our whole thing should be you know we need to press into god we need to find out who he is not you know yes. if we're so worried about having stuff mm -hmm. i mean that's mm -hmm. that's what this whole message is i mean he our life as we said before in another program our life is a vapor that's it's right. quick yeah. in eternity it's this this little mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? and yet god is so much more fun yes god is he so is. much more fun <coughs> than <coughs> anything the mm -hmm. world has to offer praise god yeah. gosh i can remember when I was in the world before I accepted Christ. I used to play tennis every day, every day, every day. And then I, I got born again, and people would say, hey, you never play, we never see you anymore. Mm -hmm. And it's not that it's wrong to play tennis by no. any stretch, mm -hmm. but it was more fun for me to just be in this word mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. glean from the Lord. Yes. Have him love you like Praise no one God. else could love That's you. That's good, Lana. That's yeah. really nice, yeah. Yeah, and we're not saying give up your, no. No. your, you know, the things mm -hmm. that God has also placed you in to be a blessing. Like if you you may yeah. be a tennis player or baseball player or whatever, yeah. mm -hmm. all yeah. those things are wonderful. They and are. and yeah. please separate that from mm -hmm. what we're saying. But mm -hmm. if it's got you, Amen. that's what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. And if it's your whole desire and the Lord's just kind of put on over here somewhere, mm -hmm. then you have some issues. You have yes. some worldly desires yes. that you no longer, you've just forsook God and said, oh, I'm just going to do all this stuff. That's yeah. right. And I think that's that's what we're sort of being uh, given to. You know, get all you can and can you can, can all you can get. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's just the mentality. And we as Christians, we have to be careful yeah. about that because we fall into that same compromising type of yeah. way of life 
if we're not careful. Mm -hmm. yep. We have to be careful not to buy into that. You know, the scripture says, what does it profit a man if he wins Gain the, the world, gains world. the world, but loses yes. his yes. own soul? Yes. yes. Okay? That's yes. where it all matters, mm -hmm. is it not? Yes. That, that's Amen. where the rubber meets the road, mm. okay? Mm -hmm. Toby Max got that song. I don't want to gain the whole world <laughs> and lose my soul. That's oh, I love Toby Max. <laughs> we put on our Saturday night videos yeah. every week, and Toby's one of them. And so it's oh, just really, he's yeah. wonderful. Mm -hmm. The kids love him. Yes, and I do. like him. I'm, geez, I'm old and I like him. <laughs> I like, I mean, yeah, I, I like all his songs because, you know, but I love that song. It has such a message. Yes. You know, yeah, yeah. it's a message. You know what? Let's read this scripture just because it's so good. Where are we? Um, uh, Romans 12. Okay. Uh, it's just really, really good, and I think we all just need to hear it. Uh, the Holy Spirit thinks we all need to hear it. 12-1. 12 one. I appeal to you, therefore, brethren, and beg of you, in view of all the mercies of God, to make a decisive dedication of your bodies, yes. presenting all your members and faculties mm -hmm. as a living sacrifice, right. holy, mm -hmm. devoted, consecrated, and well-pleasing mm -hmm. to God, which is your reasonable, rational, intelligent mm -hmm. service yep. and spiritual worship. Amen. Yes. It says, do not, and you know, we've said this many times, and I took this from someone years ago, that, that worship is not a song but it is a lifestyle. Amen. And yeah. when you have a lifestyle of worship to God, yeah. then it brings other people to God in worship. That's right. It says, do not be conformed. Now listen to this because mm -hmm. we've all been talking about this mm -hmm. to the worldly ways. Mm -hmm. Do not be conformed to this world, this age, fashioned after yeah. and adapted to its external, superficial customs. Mm -hmm. we, we heard uh, Reverend uh, Labretta talk about all of the media and how they just mm -hmm. cause you to think that it's so great, but it's mm -hmm. superficial. Mm -hmm. and, and Jennifer, what she had to say, it's just amazing. It says, but be transformed, yeah. changed by the entire renewal yes. of your mind, mind. Yeah. by its new ideals and its mm -hmm. new attitudes so that you may prove for yourselves what is the good and the acceptable and perfect will of God, even the thing which is good and acceptable and perfect in his sight for you That's and good. so as you're conformed and as you read mm -hmm. like Lana was saying she just oh she didn't want to play tennis anymore she just wanted to embrace herself mm -hmm. and just mm -hmm. emerge herself in the word which changed her which helped her which mm -hmm. took out the worldly desires mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that she could be conformed to this, yeah. to God's ways, not superficial, all of the things that, really, it is hard. We see it all day. Yes. Even us, as men, yeah. we see it all day. The Every models day. on the magazines, oh, yes. the, the uh, commercials of the mm -hmm. next best phone, like you That's were talking right. about, or the iPads, or whatever. Mm -hmm. And everybody just wants to run right out and they get do. it. And my mm -hmm. granddaughter, that's what she asked for for yes. Christmas this year, an iPad. She's, Always. she's seven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they get younger and younger. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Wow. But, you know, that's why they want these things, the worldly mm -hmm. things, because they don't know the things of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't know that's that right, when you Lana. accept Christ in your heart, mm -hmm. that that's where the true joy is. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that the Holy Spirit suddenly becomes so alive to you. He yes. becomes your Paraclete, mm -hmm. the Bible says. That's good. That's in the, the Greek. He comes us. right yeah. us, yes. alongside of us. And he teaches us. Amen. And, and we learn wisdom and knowledge yes. and mm -hmm. have understanding and have love for people that we never had before. Yes. Exactly. And and you know, when you when you gossip, when you complain, it starts eating you up inside. Yeah. But when you yeah. love, mm -hmm. but when you learn to love like God mm -hmm. loves, mm -hmm. suddenly it renews your youth. Yes. And the young right. people really need that, Lana, right now because of yeah. the bullying. There's a lot of bullying that's oh, going on right goodness. now. Yeah. And people are not for each other because mm -hmm. of the things in the world. Somebody said so-and-so to somebody. Mm -hmm. and, and then they're going to beat each other up because they didn't wear the yeah. cool thing that that's day. That's right. And it's very, it's very difficult, it's the peer mm -hmm. pressure and all the mm -hmm. things that are going around because of worldly desires exactly. this mm -hmm. hour. And yeah. it's very difficult. You know, us as, as uh, girls up here, as uh, women of God, we love to dress up. Yeah. But you know what? It's not, you know, uh, we, we hope no Nobody ever looks at us and say, look all that stuff on them. We just love to dress up. And there's <laughs> nothing wrong with that. You don't have to lose who you are. Mm -hmm. My mother always was a huge dresser, dressed to the nines. Mm -hmm. And you know, some people want to wear jeans or go to uh, church in shorts. Well, great. That's great. Go go in your little capri shorts, flip flops, whatever you want. But don't condemn somebody. I've heard it over and over and over. I mean, I've had people come up to me 
and say, well, you're so worldly and you're so dressed up all the time. You don't have to be like that and blah, blah, blah. And God told me to tell you, you need to wear less makeup and wear less. I mean, I've had people literally prophesy wow. that to me. <laughs> really? Now, listen, my heart is not in the world, but I love to dress up. It's costume jewelry, except my wedding ring. <laughs> like, you know, said. Pastor Labretta was talking about earlier. <laughs> you know, but you can't keep fighting each other. This is not a worldly desire because we love to dress up. We like to look nice. We love to just, I just love dressing mm -hmm. up. I'm mm -hmm. like the little girls love to dress up and play house. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong with that. And if you are you and you're dressed up, and, and if you're those that have maybe sit and flipped the channel and said, oh, look at those girls. They're all glammed up and I can't stand it. And I'm a jean mm -hmm. person. Well, great. We love you mm -hmm. in your jeans. Love us in our dress up. Mm -hmm. Because you know what? All this nonsense got to stop. It's superficial. Mm -hmm. It's superficial and it causes mm -hmm. people to be at each other because they don't like what so-and-so looks like. And, and, you know, you shouldn't wear this and you shouldn't do that and you mm -hmm. shouldn't say that. Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. Come mm -hmm. on. Let's get past all that. I think God likes it. I think I he likes too. it that we dress up for him. I do too. Right. <laughs> well, and I also believe it's uh, it's all about the heart and, and it's behind all it. about the and, heart. You know, it if, if yeah. someone doesn't want to dress up, if that's not because there's some different areas, different cultures, yes. different things, and that's okay too. Yes. But, but it's about what's inside and what's right. in our heart. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Amen. Mm, it's amazing. Amen. So Everybody true. has their own perception about things. They've been raised the way they want to raise. Some people don't like makeup. Well, mm -hmm. I love mm -hmm. it. Paint all you can on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love makeup. And so, you know, it's like, whatever. And if you don't like it, hey, I respect that. That's great. But please respect this because you don't want to see me without it. Yeah. <laughs> we should do on one of the shows. We should do me from front to front to finish. I have all my makeup here in front to finish So and, and do it as a transformation thing. Oh, fun, I huh? it fun, and I'm willing to do that. And believe me, you, I am horrible about makeup. But I, I'm willing yeah. to do that. I think it'd be a fun show. I think we're gonna do one. That's hilarious. We'll That'd do. We'll just do me makeup from it, and and we'll we'll take it out of the word and, and transform me. Yeah. Well, we, we were talking about doing those beauty secrets from the Bible. Remember that. That of course Esther, mm -hmm. she used a lot of the fine oils. Mm -hmm. and yeah, and they're all, all in a year and before they go to the king. Pure and natural. That mm -hmm. we will have to do a show. Like yes, can we do it for a whole year? Yeah, <laughs> be, yeah, that'd be so fun. Well, because you know anyone who was uh, the king picked to bring before him, they had a year exactly. of preparation, pampering, and mm -hmm. gosh, would I love a year of somebody <laughs> just doing my toes <laughs> or massaging me? Just live like that for a year? Are you kidding me? That'd be awesome. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, yeah. she, she's pondering. I'm thinking. Oh, Charlene, yes. why are you thinking? Yeah. I want to get back to what we were talking about yeah. at first. And you know what? Come. Wait, that, excuse me one second. That's okay, honey. That was preparation for the king. It for was. King. And we're preparing we for the are. king, too. Yes. And that's yeah. what it's all, it's yes. all about, the preparation. But I wanted to talk to also talk about the conforming and transforming. And just like you were talking earlier, there are people out there that think that, wow, this just happens overnight. It doesn't uh. happen overnight, does it, guys? No. He no. says... Do not conform to this world, but be transformed mm -hmm. by, by the renewing, renewing of our minds. Mm -hmm. I remember when I first got saved. Through the washing of the word. Through the washing of the washing. word. When yes. I first got saved, I got saved on a street corner in Washington, D.C. when I was 18 years old. Oh, my gosh. And an evangelist group said, hey, do you want to get saved? I'm like, sure, why not? I just <laughs> thought that's what I'm going to do. And I remember coming on that corner and getting oh saved. And I thought gosh. it was wonderful. They were young people just like I was in Did jeans. Did you get and, witness to or anything? Uh, or was it just that it was they just, walked they up just to you? They just walked up to me oh and asked. Gosh. And there was probably about 15 or 20 all on that corner. And I got saved that day, 18 years old, <gasps> wow. Washington, D.C., inner city okay oh, nice. and I remember Gosh. going home that day and knowing that I had accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior I had no idea that I'd be walking in the way that I'm walking right now that I would be a prophet a pastor yeah. and proclaiming the Word of God what I want to say is that it mm -hmm. is part of a transformation I went home that day and I had my dungarees on my jeans I ate chicken it had uh, now later candies and everything I always did at 18 years old yeah. uh -huh. didn't dawn on me that something had happened yeah. a process nice. had started nice. but I wasn't saved saved overnight yeah. if you want it you know what I mean with all mm -hmm. of the churches and all the Bible reading and all of that it was a process yeah. and as I God started to work on me the That's things good. of this world dull yeah. and compassionate
comparison no. to the things of God. Isn't and I just want to speak to somebody out there oh. that feels like, boy, I'm not saved, saved. I received Jesus as my Lord and Savior, but I don't have it all together. Well, continue to allow the word to be hidden in your heart that you may not sin against him and know that it's God that does the work, not you yourself. Mm -hmm. And so I just yes. want to encourage you with those words. And when you were talking just uh, transform, transform, mm -hmm. transform, yeah. you know, all this stuff, you know, it's so easy for even a child to understand that because right now you have all those movies out there, the oh, Transformers. Yes. And listen, I am telling you how they transform like that into something from a car into a mom monster or whatever they are. Uh, that's what God's Word does. I've told yeah. you before how I, I mean, I just could not even believe where I would be today. But, yes. it, you know, God kept saying in His Word, that's that's what I would be and do. And here it, it's happening. I couldn't see it then, but mm -hmm. He transformed yes. me. I was this whole totally person. And all of a sudden He went, click, 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 yep. click, took me out of this Doesn't old junker car oh, into yeah. this Mercedes. And I'm not saying that as, again, haughty or anything like that. I'm just saying because I can see myself the way He sees me. He created me in his image and I can be grateful for that and thankful. I want to read a scripture. I just turned to it. Um, actually, it was after this one and I just had it in here, but it's really good because I just was reading it while um, Pastor Libretta was saying some stuff and it's really good for this. It's in Romans 12, but it's verse 16 and it says, live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, snobbish, high-minded, exclusive, but readily adjust yourself to people things and give yourself to humble task. Never overestimate yourself or be wise in your own conceits. Mm -hmm. And isn't that the That's worldly so stuff? Oh, yeah. That's oh, yeah. worldly stuff right mm -hmm. now that we're talking about. Exactly. Carnal, fleshly, Big uh, time. the commercials and what you were talking about, the perception, or just mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. that kind of sums it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even right. the wisdom, we and we talked about in some programs back about the wisdom, the man's yes. wisdom is the carnal. Mm -hmm. You know, the, mm -hmm. the higher, and higher education is great, but there's some, some flaws in, in that whole system, too, sure. because mm -hmm. we become, you know, knowing what we think we know and not going and, right and right. asking God for his wisdom. Mm -hmm. Perfect to end mm -hmm. on. Oh, oh my man. gosh, I tell you, these, these shows go so fast. Oh I can't really. Our websites are coming up here pretty soon. Please go to them. Have some books that if you purchase them, you will help the station. You're sowing into good ground. We're going into millions of home and touching people for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So you can go on there and order any of these and uh, the money goes to the station. Please, if you don't know Jesus, receive him today. Confess yeah. with your mouth. Believe in your heart yes, that he's the Lord son Jesus. of God. Amen. He died for you, was yes. raised from the dead, and Praise he's coming God. to take Nothing you to heaven better. eternally Jesus. if you know him. Yes. Please do it today. He'll come in, rock your world, change yes, things, that's right. but it's a start there. You can't do it anymore. You're, you know, and you can't go to heaven uh, being a good person. Mm -hmm. Remember what we said that's right. that, you know, uh, good people just don't go to heaven. There's that's one right. way, truth and life, and that's through Jesus Christ. Amen. We Amen. love you. <laughs> and keep tuning in. Call our prayer lines 307-637. Pray that 7729 so our prayer partners can stand with you to see your breakthrough. Again, go to www.gstn.us. Please, if you're in the Denver area, uh, Pastor Loretta has a great church there. And uh, Wellington, Colorado, great ministry, youth ministry. Yeah. Uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming. Um, and I come and do conferences. All of us do. And uh, uh, Lana, she does all kinds of Reverend Lana ministry in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Hey, we love them. We love you. But most importantly, Jesus loves you. Amen. And we will see you next program. Mwah! 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 <laughs>